So, um, P1 versus P2 versus P3 versus P4. Um, I'm actually running a little bit low on time, but I just wanted you guys to see this image. Um, so in Persona 2, you have Hitler. In Persona 3, you have Bebe. I want to become... I want to learn everything about Nihon and become Japanese. And then you have um, Persona 4, Yosuke saying, an epic fail. <laughs> Basically, that's the change in Persona over time. It's, it's, it's funny. Um, if, you want an answer, if you want the answer to that, you're going to have to defeat me. However, do not underestimate the true Holy Spear and the power of Nyarlathotep, he who overturns destiny. between fans of P1 and P2 and, and the fans of P3 and P4, but I say, like, why can't we just, like, get along? Haters gonna hate. <laughs> so, I'm gonna rage on about this anime. <laughs> Considering the time, I think we could say it was terrible and the only redeeming factor was Akihiko and that was very redeeming. Well, basically, um, I'm gonna rage about it even more. Um, Akihiko, in this anime, lost the power to summon his persona just because he and became an adult. Um, if that's the case, then what about the first um, couple Persona games? Um, the uh, main antagonist, well, one of them in Persona 1 was um, Takehisa Kandori, who's definitely an adult. How about the Persona users from P1 who um, who grew into adults and still use their Persona? And how about the uh, entire adult cast of Persona users in Persona 2? What about them? Seriously, like, this can't be canon at all! And then, of course, Adachi. And Namatami, of course. Um, so, like, I don't know what they were thinking, um, there's no way the Trinity Soul has to be canon. Like, I don't know how, how they're gonna fit this in. It's so. just cashing in. Cashing in? Yes. Uh, watching Trinity Soul, and I watch the crappy fan sub, I'm gonna buy it when it comes out, because I wanna know what it actually is saying. Anyway, <clears throat> when watching Trinity Soul, I felt like they wanted to do Persona 2 instead of Persona 3, because it's about bending the world, and a lot more to do with um, the world breaking down and stuff, like the Rumor Network. And they did want to do a Persona 2 um, anime at one point. They even presented that if you got Persona 2 in America, you can't find that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I feel like if they wanted to do Persona 2, especially with the Detective Young Butter angle going on, um, so I feel like it was a rough amalgam of a bunch of stuff in Persona, so maybe we could say Alt Universe or something, or maybe this is in someone's head. I don't know. I think it is still hot. I think the thing to say is watch at your own risk. Okay. So um, I'm gonna have to really go through this pretty quick because I'm running out of time. So um, okay, so you know in the Velvet Room, um, there's Igor, this mysterious man. You really don't know where he comes from, but he is a um, servant of Philemon, who is this uh, masked man who gives the power of persona. And um, in the previous games, um, you'd have um, various characters in the um, Velvet Room that you didn't have in 3 and 4. You'd have a piano player named Nameless, or Nanashi, and you had Belladonna, an opera singer, and then you'd have um, the demon artist in 2, who would um, paint um, tarot cards for you. So, um, the form of the velvet room really depends on the guests. Um, it's a regular room for the P1 and P2 Persona users, but it's an elevator for the um, Persona 3 main character, and a limo. I guess Soji rides in style. So, uh, uh, Philemon and the wild card. Um, Basically, Philemon um, is this mysterious deity in the form of a masked man who can take the form of a mysterious butterfly. Um, I said that he resides between the conscious and the subconscious, and he's based off the writings of Carl Jung. He was Jung's spiritual guide, and um, in Persona 1 and 2, he grants people the power of Persona. Um, and opposite him is Nyarlathotep, the crawling chaos, who um, just wants to get rid of mankind and screw them up. So, um, did they remove Philemon completely from Persona 3 and 4? Um, in Persona 3 and 4, you still see the butterfly. Um, and the characters who can use multiple Personas have seen the butterfly. Like, you see, um, um, Minato, uh, Minato, the Persona 3 main character, um, he saw the, um, the butterfly upon, like, um, going into the dorm. Um, I just saw it before she all, before she more fist out. Um, and, um, in Persona 4, your save points are blue butterflies. So, um... So what's the wild card? We really don't know for sure. It's just the powers of someone in multiple facets of yourself, I guess. I guess. Um, but a lot of people just attribute it to the fact that of the gap between Persona 2 and 3, and um, not the same people pretty much not working in the game after 
some hot pursuit of fun. Yeah. It's been officially confirmed. Um, SC or PSP, we're not sure. Um, will it be a return to the original kind of, the original um, one and two, or will it be like three and four? Um, will it be something entirely new? Uh, we'll, we'll find out more hopefully at Tokyo Game Show 2010. What we do know is that the director of Persona 4 is coming back as the um, director for this game, and the team just just started work on it. Um, and Alice Japan was actually looking for um, somebody with experience, experience in developing for the PS3, so um, uh, it possibly might be for the PS3, but we'll see. Yes. Well, and, uh, well, you know that Elizabeth goes to save him, too. And, uh, and, uh, and what I, what I really want is Persona 2 like this. So, we're running out of time. I'm really, really sorry. Don't struggle, look, it's your feeling.